what up, what up, what up? Unbreakable Kicks Army. So, if you guys have yet to see the Air Jordan 5 Green Bean video, that video is up for you guys. Go ahead and check them out. Man, seeing just the images online, it doesn't do the shoe just now. Just watch the video. I don't want to talk too much about that army. Just watch the Air Jordan 5 Green Bean video. I posted that about a couple days ago. Now, also, as far as early reviews, I should have the Air Jordan 3 Neapolitans in for you guys to check out. And we know those look somewhat like the Air Jordan 3 Mochas and the Air Jordan 9 Chili Reds. Now, I was against the Willy 9s or the Chili Reds, whatever you want to call them, but they don't look half bad from like the live videos that I've seen, Army. So I hope to have all of these videos for you guys as soon as possible. Also, the Yeezy Zebras. The Zebras are retroing again or restocking again or re-releasing, whatever you guys want to call it. I want to say they go live this Saturday, so make sure that you guys are putting in on FLX. FLX has been kind of dry as of late. There really hasn't been a lot going on in the sneaker community as far as JD Sport, Finish Line Exclusive Access. It's been a minute since, you know, we've talked about a shoe. I want to say, if anything, the next shoe will be the Air Jordan 5 J Horizons. If those are still supposed to be dropping this Saturday, a lot of people ain't really been talking about those. I'm going to check on Sneakers app and see if those are still scheduled to drop this Saturday. And it's been weird, man, because it just, something just don't seem right. And I've been asking myself, I'm like, it's, it's just a weird time in sneakers, whether it's things getting pushed back, whether it's different ways of actually copying sneakers, whether it's, you know, push up. It's, it's just a lot of shoes getting pushed up, shoes getting pushed back. And now from the title of the video, y'all seeing that the sneakers actually being canceled. Now, the J Horizons are still dropping on the ninth this Saturday. And for some reason, they are not doing like the 10 minute draw. At one point they was, I'm confused. Everything is going back and forth, but the J Horizons are dropping this Saturday along with the Yeezy Zebra joint. So make sure y'all keep in everything on lock. I'm gonna try my best to keep everybody afloat. I also heard that the Turtle Doves was coming back. Now, to me, that's like Yeezy Retro and the Air Jordan 1 Breads. Now, the Adidas Turtle Dove 350s, is the first one. Those was the ones that put the 350s on the map, and this will be the first time since, I wanna say they dropped the, what, 2015? This is gonna be the first time that the Yeezy Turtle Doves have re restocked, retroed, whatever you guys wanna call them. So it's a lot of interesting things coming up, and I gotta give a huge shout out to the Army man. Y'all been showing out as far as the merch. I still got some of the Chicago bread hoodies. If y'all are interested, let your boy know. It goes well with any bread colorway on any sneakers. Got the Bulls logo, Chicago Skyline. Got three popular interstates in Chicago. Got Chicago right there on the front. Got the six rings down there on the wrist. And these were samples. And I did not do 100 hoodies of the red like I did 100 of the black. Speaking of the black, we got the black hoodies. Same thing as the red but the black hoodies are numbered. And I can say that I am starting to run low on size large and extra large because y'all been buying them joints up left and right army. So get at me ASAP if y'all do want to purchase some merch. If you don't have Instagram, make sure you email me at unbreakablekicks at yahoo.com. Got the black joggers to match the black hoodie. Now, army, what's going on, y'all? The Air Jordan 4 Zen Masters have been canceled in the United States. Now, I had got a message from a member of the Army, and I gotta go ahead and shout, bro, I shout out to Roscoe's Kicks, because he DM'd me and brought this information to my attention, and then I hit up Z Sneakerhead like, bro, is this true? But then Z Sneakerhead like, yeah, bro, I just DM'd you the information, so he had already DM'd me the information before my bro, but still, Army, that's crazy. Now, the only reason why I'm saying that's crazy is because it is an Air Jordan 4. Now, from what I'm seeing, man, Air Jordan 4 is going to be taking over the place of the Air Jordan 1. Now, Nice Kicks is the ones who put this information out. And it says, sources tell us the Zen Master Air Jordan 4 will not be releasing in North America. Okay, now for those who don't know, the Zen Masters was paying homage to like Phil Jackson with his time with the Bulls. If you watch 
the Last Dance documentary, you will know exactly where, you know, the name of Zen Masters is coming from. And when we seen the original images of these, I wasn't the biggest fan. And I'm going to still say it and keep try to keep that same energy and be like, I would still need to see these in hand. Now, to my knowledge, this release is not 100% scrapped as of right now. But these joints will not be releasing in the United States. Now, I'm looking at some of the comments and some people saying good, they was trash. Some people are kind of upset. Some people are saying that, bro, this is definitely gonna, you know, increase the price of these Zen Masters. Now, I've yet to see anybody with in-hand images of these. I ain't seen nobody in Chicago with them. And it makes sense because these were supposed to have dropped last month and we heard nothing about it. Even kind of like with the Air Jordan A Ruiz, you know, they got pushed back, but we seen gray school pairs in hand. I know a couple guys in Memphis who I want to say had men pairs as well. I could be wrong, but that but they may have had men pairs. And also, a member of the Army hit me up and said April 30th is looking like to be the new date for the Air Jordan A Ruiz. But we don't have an official date for overseas releases either, but it also just have you scratching your head because... It's been a lot of Air Jordans that where Santa was coming out and we never get. I can name at least three to four just on top of my head. I can y'all remember a couple years ago we were supposed to get like an Air Jordan Seven fadeaway. It was supposed to be like a Raging Bull colorway, Raging Bull based colorway on the Air Jordan Seven. We never got those. We we're supposed to get like some Air Jordan Four sound pieces to kind of you know pay homage to the movie, do the right thing. It was supposed to have two colors. We never got those. We were supposed to get the Air Jordan 10 uh, Martin Lawrence. Y'all remember a few years back, it was supposed to be like the Steel 10s. So like the inside material was kind of had like the Martin graphics from like the 90s. We never got those. I want to say those were supposed to have came with the toe cap as well. It was supposed to be like an Air Jordan 10 Russell Westbrook had like the OKC colorways with the number zero on it. We never got those either. It was supposed to be like a pair of Air Jordan 10 Mochas that was supposed to come out. So, Army, I just remember a lot of like mock ups and things that we were supposed to get, and then they wind up getting scrapped at the end. And then when Z Sneakerhead hit me up, you know, he was kind of giving a little bit more information. He said it makes sense because they removed them off all of the US calendar releases. Some stores said that the release was canceled. Some said that they just seen that it was removed. So as of right now, again, Army, these joints are not dropping over here in the United States. And it's not like, I, I don't feel like a lot of people was really going for these. But of course, we know if they had that high resale market, of course, everybody would have been going for them just to either have them as, as far as like a collector's piece, trade bait, just instant resale. Maybe some people is going to cop to put on feet, but as of right now, we won't know. But if you are one of those people who actually want the shoe, I still say don't, you know, don't fear. As of right now, they are still supposedly dropping overseas, but we just don't know when, we don't know where. And it's not the first time that Nike and Jordan brand has given us region specific, you know, sneakers. But to my knowledge, I don't remember us ever getting a region specific Air Jordan 4. Like retro ones, yes. We might have a different colorway in Europe. We might have a different colorway in Asia. Now they did do this with the Air Jordan 12 PSNYs. Like the Bordeaux colorway may have been like Europe and then like the green pair, the olive pair may have been like Milan. Like, I don't remember exactly what, what region those joints dropped, but it won't be the first time that this has happened. So Army, y'all let me know how y'all feel about that in the comment section below. Does it throw a wrench in your plans? Was you actually trying to grab them? Do you care? And again, it just, it, it makes me just think about everything that I've said up to this point as far as limited sneakers, like the Rebellionaires, these Zen Masters, the ones that's not popping up in every Foot Locker, these joints are gonna get harder to cop. And that's why I keep trying to stress upon you guys, like if y'all got time, you know, make sure y'all are networking with some of these neighborhood stores. Make sure y'all are networking outside of your mall, if that makes sense, because the local mall is going to carry, you know, just the, your your regular GRs that the entire world may get in, in a Foot Locker or a Champs or Finish Line, JD Sport, etc. But these sneakers that's only going to these 10-0 mom and pops neighborhood stores, 
these gonna be some of the stories that's gonna be eaten. And it's another retro one that's coming out later on this year, the Air Jordan one. I want to think it's like Heirloom or something like that. It kind of give you like Rookie of the Year vibe. I mentioned this shoe in my Air Jordan 2022 complete lineup. Make sure y'all check that out. If you guys haven't, check that out because it gives you pretty much all of the releases, all of the dates, etc. Those are going to be dropping in neighborhood stores like the Rebellion Air. So I can see Nike and Jordan brand, you know, hand picking certain releases that only the neighborhood spots are going to get. And then all of the other spots are going to be getting everything else. But the key thing about these neighborhood stores is that the neighborhood stores get them all. Foot Locker not getting everything. Foot Locker not going to touch their masters. They're not going to touch heirlooms. They're not going to touch unions. But these neighborhood stores, for the most part, most of them are touching all of the product. Everything from the highs to the lows. So again, that's where them relationships come in. That's where that networking come in. And by them doing this army for the Zen Masters, because when I look at J23, they had them dropping this month in April. We're not really getting too much in April, other than like, you know, a couple collab. Well, I mean, we got a lot of stuff, but a lot of these shoes that are dropping this month are not dropping in every store. Like DB5s, My Years, you know what I'm saying? Unions, it's a lot of stuff that's not dropping in our local mall. So I'll probably do a video tomorrow, just basically trying to give y'all a, a guide for the month of April, because April is looking to be more on the tier zero side of the spots that's getting them army so make sure y'all smash that thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you are not already subscribed hit me up on ig if you want to cop any other new merch email me at unbreakablekicks at yahoo.com if you don't have any other merch army also with that being said still if you have been grabbing sneakers whether it's all white ones whether it's any sneaker that needs to be protected make sure you are grabbing your rejuvenator water and stain repellent Grab your rejuvenator water and stain repellent. Protect your shoes. Get your bristle brushes, your rejuvenator, sneaker wipes, your laundry detergent system. Make sure you are clicking my rejuvenator link in the description section below. That way it will help you guys save that 10% at checkout army. I love you guys. I appreciate y'all. And other than that, you got your boy Unbreakable. You got the Unbreakable Vault. Unbreakable Army stands strong like always. Most importantly, hug your loved ones. And of course, remain humble. And we out. I hit a breakable for the Yeezys He the plug, call him when I need him He's old stuff, but he get a music Yours old, him first season Them most beefy, looking like two laughs Two laughs, cause your ass taking nails